Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to import a height map and apply it to terrain. So this way you don't have to go through and um, sculpt out all of your terrain, um, or else a majority of it. Um, you're still going to have to smooth it out and change it to how you like, but it gives a good sense of how the layout should be if you already have something pre-planned. So if you have something like a piece of concept art detailing the top of the um, the environment or something like that and you want to shape it in a certain way beforehand without having to uh, go through and just shape it by yourself it's easier just to lay out a black and white uh, hype app data and get it set up that way so what we're going to be doing first is going to game object create other and train and this will create our basic train now there's nothing on here yet um, I went over a lot of these other features in previous tutorials and I'm just going to be showing you guys how to import a height map. So if you see here, height map, import raw, this is where we're going to be importing our height map. So if you don't have a height map, um, I can show you real quick how to get one. Uh, just type height map into Google and grab one and edit it to your liking. Now there's other programs out there that can display or create um, certain height maps. Um, bunch out there, you can just look for them or you can just do a simple way of downloading and editing an image file whatever it's up to you if you just want to create it within Photoshop without um, any of that that's fine I usually like editing mine a bit um, to make it unique but yeah so I just went and grabbed just a random image to show you guys um, originally it's probably not going to be um, in the power of two so you really want to set it for, for uh, 512 by 512 or 1024 by 1024. I found that those ones work the best for these height maps, depending on how much detail you want also. Um, but here we have our height map, and when you import your height map, you're gonna yeah, want to set it from one of those settings. So if you see mine is 512 by 512, and lay it out how you want. Now the next thing you're gonna want to do for this to work is convert it to grayscale. And it'll ask you if you want to discard the previous map, just discard it, you're not going to need it. Um, and file, save as, and save it as a uh, .raw file. And that's all you need. Um, if you want to edit this in any way, um, feel free to. Um, you can just take whatever color that you want, black, gray, just, just remember to keep it on grayscale. So over here. But if you go ahead, you can start painting, and if you want to you no know, block off certain areas if you wanted a certain shape you can just do it like that or whatnot I'm not gonna save this right now um, but yeah just save it as, out as a dot uh, raw file so now when we're back in here you got your map set up you don't need to import it into unity or anything like that through your project files but you can just import it directly through here so I'll go through here terrain one is what I call mine and I'll just import now you're going to want to set it for the dimensions of what that map is. Mine is 512 by 512. Change it to Windows. And we'll click Import. Now if you see right here, um, it looks pretty insane so far. It's got the basic idea of what the height map has. But yeah. Um, one more thing I may add to this. Um, when you're importing or before you're importing, if you change the height map resolution, um, it'll add less poly so if you're going for a game that's like a mobile game or something you're gonna wanna set this a lot lower so if you set it for something like uh, 128 it's gonna wipe that out you can just go ahead and re-import if you want open change those settings import and yeah Oh, I see. Because the height map set for that, it's not going to change. I forgot about that. So if you are exporting, uh, don't do 512 by 512 like I did. Um, make it a lower resolution, and it'll be better for um, mobile-style games. But I'll show you guys how to fix this real quick if you want to smooth out some of the stuff. Um, for one, we want to change pixel errors down to 1. And there's a bunch of other settings you can change in here. They're just basic settings. Um, another thing you can change is the height. So let's say you want really tall mountains. Not that tall. <laughs> but if you change it to a thousand, 
hit enter, um, they're going to get a lot taller. And it's all dependent on what your um, your height map looks like. So these are all following the patterns of your height map. So if we wanted to, we could set this really low as well to 200, and it'll be a lot lower. So if you see games like Skyrim or different ones that have really wide open worlds um, like this, most of the time they're going to be using height maps for that. And once they have the height map set up, they have the basic idea of how the um, place is laid out. So you could just go in here, you could grab the um, Smooth Terrain tool, crank that up, and start smoothing out your terrain if you want. So I'm just brushing everything. And it's getting rid of those jagged edges, and it's smoothing out everything as it's changing. And it makes things look a lot better this way, too, unless I guess you're going for the really jaggedy look. But yeah, you can just keep going through and smoothing out everything and adjusting things how you want. Um, if you just want to flatten out your maps and give it a different pathway, if you want to destroy this mountain. Right now I'm holding shift, and that allows me to push everything down to the ground. If I were to just click, it'll raise it, that tool. So you can adjust it, change it how you want. Go back, smooth out different surfaces, or wait. Or whatever you guys want to do. I just wanted to show you how to import basic height maps. And hopefully with a little bit of photo editing or y using other tools, you guys can create some uh, cool terrain maps.